नमस्कार वेलकम टू द नॉलेज सीरीज ऑन कंजर्वेशन एंड प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ वाटर वाटर इज लाइफ वेरियस स्टडीज ऑन लैंडस्लाइड्स ड्यूरिंग मानसून इन 2018 एंड 19 इन कूर्ग कर्नाटका एंड मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ केरला हैव रिवील्ड अ शॉकिंग इंफॉर्मेशन दैट अनसाइंटिफिक इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ रिचार्ज पिट्स एंड वाटर टैंक्स ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द हिल्स आर वन ऑफ द कॉजेस फॉर डेवेस्टेटिंग लैंडस्लाइड्स Hence this episode on do's and don'ts while doing recharge pits or percolation tank or recharge well. Recharge pits play a very important role in recharging the groundwater table especially during rainy season and gradually during other seasons. The rate and speed at which water is absorbed into the ground plays a very dominant role in recharging the existing groundwater table. Recharge pits are to be designed based on the prevailing ground conditions. the slope the terrain the quantity of water flowing into the pits the method of constructing a recharge well is explained in detail in the episode number 10 and episode number 18 in this youtube channel water is life so can we do these recharge pits anywhere in the ground or in any place no a big no to be more precise let me explain one by one percolation pits are not advisable very near to a open well whatever might be the soil condition it is preferable to keep a safe distance of 10 feet or more from the open well never do a recharge pit near a toilet pit especially near a soak pit or a leach pit keep a safe distance of at least 25 to 30 feet from the existing toilet pit in a hilly area where a portion of soil is cut for development or a portion of soil is removed for road constructions never do a recharge pit on the top of the hill It is not advisable to do a recharge pit on a top of a cliff as it may lead to further landslide. Instead, we can plant locally growing species which will hold the water as well as keep the gradient intact. If you are in a low lying area or a water logged area and if the water table is very high, say just below 5 feet from the natural ground level, especially during the summer, please do not venture constructing recharge pits here. Recharge pits are no use in a slushy area where the soil is very sticky and slushy or in a rocky terrain where the ground is very hard to dig a recharge tank. Take the advice of the local consulting engineer if you are doing a recharge pit very near to a building or in a dangerous area where these pit may cause a threat to the safety of the surrounding. But all said and done, given a chance, percolation pits are easy and ideal method for groundwater recharge as explained in Catch the Rain Part 3 in this channel Water is Life. Never ever construct recharge pits during rainy season. It has to be done during the dry season or just before the rainy season begins. So let us all plan together and start doing percolation pits and be ready for the rainy season to come in. Press the subscribe button, like button, post your comments and share this video with your family and friends. Namaskar.